normally have with your federation. So very much on their own. Uh, you're not off to see the physio for a quick massage here. <laughs> OK, then. Shall we do it one more time? It's the final race of the series. It's the grand finale. The league has been decided. The winner's already lined up there. Can she finish with a win in her event? Problem is, she's up against someone else who likes this event. That's Marta Bayona. Here is the world champion and Champions League winner on debut, Alice Andrews. Five wins from nine starts in this year's league. Miriam Vecet looking for her first Champions League win still. Alessa Catriona Prups has taken a few on debut. She'll be hoping to hold on to a second spot in the league at the very least here. Can Canada take a win? And it's not perhaps the ride you're expecting in the final for Canada. Lorien Jeunesse. And here is Emma Fanuken, who'll be trying to raise the roof for one final time in London. She's the home representative. Six riders, five laps, one more race. Who are we watching, Joe? I think all eyes have got to be on Emma Fanukan here. It's, it's the home crowd, it's in London. She missed on the, out on the sprint, but her, her ride in the Kieran heat was, was fabulous. You know, she, she bounced right back from that. And now she's here, one last race. Make it count. She's drawn position one, and she's going to be right behind the Derny for the first opening laps. Two of them in this shortened Kieran competition that we have in the Champions League. It's not so long ago. We'd have an eight lap Kieran, wouldn't we? Yeah, and when does six? Remember it well, yeah. And of course, it's five here in the Champions League. Yep. So it just means less time behind the Derny getting the riders up to speed. So we still have three laps of racing at the end, which we do in the six lap Kieran at World Championships. So just one less race behind the bike at the beginning. We're into the final kilometre, we're into the final four laps. Three and a half now to go. 125 metres left behind the Derny in this year's Champions League. And then for one last time, it's all out racing. The Derny's about to disappear. They start to look at each other. Who will make the first move? Bayona sits at the back and she's on the wheel of Andrews, the big favourite. Finucan is at the front and is forced to turn her head. Here come the big competitors. Andrew starts to make her move. We know that she likes to establish a position early in a race. Yeah, Finucan winding it up on the front. She knows that that rush from behind is going to come. She's just waiting patiently for who is going to be the first runner to make that move. And with one and a half laps to go, here it goes. It's Andrew who's going to hit the front. Hoopster is starting to lose her way a little bit, trying to gather it for the final lap as the bell goes. It's Andrews who takes over the front by Yorna on her wheel. But Finucan is still down on the black line, trying to get ahead. This is the moment that Andrews pushes ahead, however, trying to seal the deal with glory. Finucan is ahead again, though, but it's Andrews to the line. Andrews all the way. It's Andrews from Bayona. And Elise Andrews celebrates winning the Champions League in the best style imaginable. The Kiwi contingent celebrate as Elise Andrews, the world Kieran champion, becomes the Champions League winner. Once again, she's delivered when it matters, with the pressure, with the rainbow stripes on her helmet, with the race overall leader's skin suit on in front of this crowd, the final event of the Track Champions League, and she's gone out with a win. What a fabulous competitor we've had this year.